In the previous videos, we have known about noun, pronoun, and adjective. Here, in this video, we are going to know about the verb and its classification. Okay, here, what is meant by verb? First of all, we have to know about the definition of verb. Here, the verb means a verb is described as a verb which is used to indicate an action, state of being of existence or possession. Here the verb tells us three aspects. Those are the first one is action. The second one is state of being of existence or that is the second one. Third one is possession. Open it when it is he would be going to tell you this. Here the verb tells us, in a sentence, the verb tells us, here, what a person or thing does. What a person or thing does. Waka vitti ye chestu nadu. Leda waka, waka vasu gani, waka thing gani, person gani. What the person is doing, it tells about the verb. Here, I am teaching English grammar. Here I am teaching what I am doing here. What a person or thing does. What a person. What a person yeh chesto unado. I am telling you this. It means wo banana. Here Bharatam. What I am doing here. I am teaching English grammar. Here teaching is a verb. Teaching is a verb. See the example. Jagruti writes. If Jagruti, a person, what she does, Jagruti writes. Jagruti writes. Yem chestundi jang, yem chestundi Jagruti writes. Rastu untundi. So, if you name chestundi, I am teaching. So, I am teaching. If you are teaching, I am teaching. Verb. Verb, I am teaching. Action, I am teaching. वक्त व्यक्ति का होचु, वक्त पसंद का होचु, आ पसंद व्यक्ति ये भी चेष्टो ना आ रहे हो अनेक तरीके से इतने टाइम ही वो बन जाते हैं चलते हैं। ओके, दैट इज़ द फर्स्ट रूल। नेक्स्ट सेकंड वन, व्हाट इज़ डन टू ए पर्सन आती? व्हाट इज़ डन टू ए पर्सन आती? आ व्यक्ति ये भी चेये बढ़तो होना आ I am teaching. It is a verb. I am teaching. I am teaching. I am teaching. I am teaching. I is being taught. I am teaching. I am teaching. I am teaching. I am teaching. Balu is being taught. Bala Chandra is being taught. And the Waka person yeh chase to Naru. Waka person gani thing and yeh chase to Naru. Yeh chaya burdu. Wala chata yeh chaya burdu undi. And chepe to Tani Pura. Open him. Ikara. Balu is being taught. Same like that. See the example. Jaguti is written. Jaguti writes. It is a Jagruti writes. Here, Jagruti is written. Here, the sentence is in passive form. Jagruti, ye bhi chaya bhartu hundi. Raya bhartu hundi. Ami chaita raya bhartu. Amen. So, ikar manam, ye bhi chaya bhartu unnaru. Teen gani, person gani, ye bhi chaya bhartu. Ye bhi cheshtu unnaru. Vala chaita, ye bhi chaya bhartu hundi. Ani chaita bhaita bhaita bhaita. Ani koda action ni, wo bani chaita. Okay. Next. What is a person of thing? What is a person of thing? A person ain't thing. For example, in Balachandra, ain't thing. I am a teacher. What is Balachandra? I am a teacher. Here, am is a verb. It doesn't express the action. It is action going to tell you to tell Balu, Balachandra is a teacher. Here, is, is, a, is a, is an inventive verb. But here the is it doesn't tell us about the action. Action is going to tell you. 
ఈజర్ అనేటువంటిది స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ బాలచంద్ర నేను ఏంటి అని తెలియజేసేటువంటి దాన్ని కూడా మనము ఓబని చెప్తున్నాం వాట్ ఈస్ బాలచంద్ర హియర్ ద బాలచంద్ర ఈజ్ ఎ టీచర్ బాలచంద్ర ఈజ్ ఎ టీచర్ హియర్ ఈజ్ అనేటువంటిది ఓ ఇది యాక్షన్ తెలియజేయట్లేదు ఏం చేస్తున్నామో తెలియజేయట్లేదు బాలచంద్ర ఏంటి అనేటువంటిది తెలియజేస్తున్నాం హీఈస్ ఎ టీచర్ సో సేమ్ లైక్ బాలచంద్ర ఈజ్ ఎ టీచర్ హియర్ ఈజ్ ఈజ్ ఎ ఓ ఈజ్ ఇట్ డజన్ టెల్స్ అబౌట్ ద యాక్షన్ హియర్ ఈజ్ టెల్స్ అబౌట్ ద స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ బీ ఆర్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ it tells about the possession it tells about the possession here the possession means what possession means balachandra has a car balachandra has a car here balachandra ye kaligi unnadu car so i have a pen i have a pen nadagra nenu oka pen kaligi unnanu nadagra em undi pen undi i have a pen have is a it tells about the possession have i have a car here have is a helping it is a verb it doesn't tells about the action it doesn't tells about the state of being or existence it tells about the possession ante nenu emi kaligi unnanu ani cheppe tondi dani ni kuda manam em antam ante verb ani cheptam so have is a for example here jahmeri has a good memory jahmeri has a good memory here has is a verb it doesn't tell us about the action it doesn't tell us about the state of being or existence here the has it tells us about the possession nen em kaligi unnanu here jahmeri has a good memory jahmeri em kaligi undi good memory ni kaligi undi so ఏం కలిగి ఉన్నాను అని తెలియజేసేటువంటి ఆ పొసిషన్ ని మనము దాన్ని కూడా మనము ఓబ్ అని చెప్తాం హే దోక్ టెల్స్ అబౌట్ దీస్ ఫోర్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ హియర్ నాకు వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు నో అబౌట్ ద క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్స్ దెన్ వీ నో అబౌట్ ద డీటెయిల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఫోర్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు నో ద క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్స్ లేటర్ వీ నో అబౌట్ ద డీటెయిల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ ఆఫ్ verbs kinds of verbs each and every verb we explain in detail manner here verb is classified into majorly classified into two types those are main verbs and auxiliary verbs main verbs and auxiliary verbs here the main verbs are also called lexical verbs here the auxiliary verbs are also called the helping verbs auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs later we know about the what are the main verb what are auxiliary verbs we know the detail manner here the auxiliary verbs are classified into two categories those are modal auxiliaries and primary auxiliaries here the modal auxiliaries means we would shall should can could may might must ought to day to need to these are all the these are all modal auxiliaries here primary auxiliaries are classified into three categories those are be forms do forms have forms be forms means am is or was the be 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 these are called be forms next do forms do does did done doing these are called do forms here have forms have has had having these are called have forms so these are the auxiliary verbs these are the classification of auxiliary verbs now we go to the main verbs the main verbs are also called the lexical verbs here the lexical verbs or main verbs are classified into three types those are transitive verb intransitive verb and verb of incomplete preposition so what is meant by transitive verb what is meant by intransitive verb 
what is meant by income verb of incomplete predication later we know the detailed explanation of each and every verb okay so first of all we know about the classification of verbs transitive verb intransitive verb verb of incomplete predication here the three verbs are three verbs are divided into two types of verbs those are finite verbs and non finite verbs finite verb and non finite verb next the finite verbs are classified into two categories those are dynamic verbs and state verbs what is meant by dynamic verb what is meant by state verb and with examples we know the detailed explanation in the next uh, next videos here the non finite verb the non finite verb are classified into three categories those are infinitive gerund and participle okay so these are the classification of verbs we know about the verb the definition of verb and the classification of verbs in the next video we know about the detailed explanation of verbs part 2 okay if you like this video please like and share to your well wishes thank you thank you for watching